Can I just sleep in this jacket? All right, so today I'm gonna be showing you guys my favorite drugstore nude lipsticks. I have 15 of them here. I want to include a range of different nudes from light to deeper nudes just because this is one of those things that look totally different on every single skin tone. Something that is actually a nude nude like this on me would look totally white and ghostly on someone with a deeper skin tone. And something that looks like a lighter nude on a deeper skin tone could look like a brown dark nude on me. So I wanted to include kind of a range of different nude shades so that you can choose which one is best for you depending on your skin tone. I'm gonna start with the lightest and then work my way up. The products I'm gonna be showing are ones that I recommend, obviously the shade, but also the formula. Some of these are my favorite lipstick formulas, not even drugstore, just in general. I'm gonna be trying on all of these on camera so you can see how they look on my skin tone. Haven't done a lip try on video in forever. Let's do this. I was just out in the sun and had like sunglasses on, so we can ignore the foundation sunglass lines. If anyone knows how to avoid those, let me know down below. So starting with probably the lightest nude lipstick that I found from the drugstore and almost just in general, this is kind of along the lines of MAC Myth. MAC Myth is actually a little bit darker than this one on me. This is Maybelline 910 Bare All. This is like borderline ghostly nude, but I'm feeling this. I think this kind of nude, I don't know, I think it's gonna make a comeback. But this is the shade that I have on right now. Maybelline lipsticks are one of my favorite formulas, however the smell is a little bit crayony and chemical-y. My only complaint with this one is that since it is so light, it's a little bit patchy in certain parts, so you might want to wear a lip liner underneath this, but I mean, I'm wearing it right now totally fine without a lip liner. So next up, I'm going to be putting on BH Cosmetics Zoink. BH you can only buy online, but it is drugstore prices. This is actually on the cheaper end. BH Cosmetics always does sales, so never buy anything full price on there because they pretty much always rotate out their sales. By the way, every single product I'm talking about is going to be linked down below in the description box. Like always, everything is down there. So here's Zoink on. This one looks a little bit more peachy to me. I usually kind of stay away from the peachy nudes just because it looks a little bit off on my skin tone, but this one I think is one that I can wear. And I wear this one, I usually like to put more of a pinky gloss over top. So next up is the NYX High Voltage Lipstick in Mirage. I love the formula of these, they're super pigmented. This one still has more peach undertones, but it does look a tiny bit more pink and alive to me than the BH one. I love this lipstick for layering. If I have a deeper nude on and I wanna just either lighten it a little bit or just make the center of my lips look a little bit more plump and big, I'll just put a tiny bit of this on the center of my lips and just kind of dab it on. And this is a really good lipstick for layering, doesn't look crusty or weird or anything. Okay, I literally have, what is going on? I think I have eyelash glue in my eyeball. So next up is Maybelline 755 Nude Thrill. I believe this is one of their newer matte lipsticks from their, I think it's called the Bold Collection or something. If you want a matte lipstick that doesn't feel drying and is more on the taupey kind of nude side, this one doesn't have any kind of peach undertones. This is more of a taupe color. I love this one. Next up is Maybelline 920 Nude Lust. Okay, I've mentioned a lot of Maybelline, but I feel like, I think Maybelline has one of the best pale nude lipstick ranges at the drugstore. I swear I have other brands than Maybelline coming up, but Maybelline does make some of the lightest shades. Nude Lust is beautiful. This is like one of those shades that I think would be really pretty for wedding makeup. This is one of my favorites for sure. This one can go with literally any look. It's not too nude, it's not too pink, not too peach. This is kind of perfect standard nude. This one has a little bit of a sheen to it. It isn't totally matte, feels really comfortable on the lips. 920, definitely one of my favorites. Next up is the NYX Lip Laundry in Satin Ribbon. I have mixed feelings on the formula of these. These are a liquid lipstick. They're not super long lasting at all. They do come off when you eat and everything. So I typically don't reach for these that often because I just don't like when my liquid lipsticks come off. But the shade of this is really pretty and it's good for layering. This one can look super nude on some people. Obviously it isn't that kind of nude on me. It's just kind of like a neutral pinky nude. Next up is Maybelline 860 Smooth Taupe. I actually think this is one of the lighter ones. I don't know why I'm mentioning this right now. I probably should have bumped this one up a little bit. This one to me is pale, but wearable. This is like a very wintry nude to me. Like I just think with a sweater and a scarf, I just like the shade of nude. This is definitely one of my oldest and most used nude lipsticks. Next up is another NYX Lip Laundry. This one is in the shade Baby Doll. This one applies a little bit patchy and streaky for me. You have to kind of wait for it to set and then kind of fill in the gaps. Out of the ones I'm talking about, if you have dry lips, I would probably say stay away from this formula. I wouldn't say I have super, oh, and it's on my teeth. I wouldn't say I have super dry lips, but it does kind of settle into the cracks on my lips a little bit. 
But shade-wise, nice peachy pink. Here you go. Next up is Rimmel Moisture Renew Lipstick in 710 First Class Nude. Love this shade, love the formula of these. The only thing I don't like about this is the smell. It smells so bad, it literally smells like bathroom spray. I think they were going for floral, but it just smells like a biffy. But I love the shade of this. I think this could be wearable for a bunch of different skin tones. Rimmel lipsticks are pretty bomb. This is the e.l.f. Moisturizing Lipstick in In The Nude. Formula of these feels really nice and moisturizing, but it is a little bit stiffer than the other ones I've mentioned, which I kind of like because I feel like it's not gonna budge as easily. And fun fact, in the bottom of e.l.f. lipsticks, you can actually take this off and it's a little gloss thing. I've never actually used this clearly, but it is there. This one and the one I'm gonna mention next are the ones that if I want a little something something, but I don't wanna look like I have a deep nude on or brown lipstick or anything, I usually go for these ones. It's very wearable, but it still looks like you have a lipstick on your lips. So this is the Milani lipstick in 61 Matte Naked. If you've been watching my videos for a couple years now, you know I've raved about this lipstick. This is one of my all-time favorite lipstick shades. This is one of those colors that almost every time I wear it, someone asks me what's on my lips. It's just a really unique, kind of dusty, nude rose color. It just looks really flattering with any look you do, any clothes you wear. This is like my go-to. Love this one, love the formula of this, and it actually lasts really well throughout the day. This is the Jordana Modern Matte Lipstick in Matte Innocent. I feel like these lipsticks are never talked about and so underrated. These are awesome. I'm pretty sure they're under like six bucks. They feel like they're not gonna budge. They have that feel to them where it's not drying at all, but they're matte and they aren't gonna move around on your lips. This line has tons of different shades and they're super affordable. So if I were you, I would just pick out a few and kind of try them on and see what's your favorite on your skin tone. This is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Stockholm. And this one almost looks like a muted red rose nude on me. I wanted to include this one because I know a lot of people do love the formula of these. These transfer super easily for me and I do feel like they're gonna end up all over my face if I go to eat a meal. So for me, I don't typically reach for this formula a whole lot, but this shade is really pretty and I know a lot of people do love this formula. Next up is Maybelline 215 Total Toffee. We have a shit ton of Maybelline in here. The formula of this one feels almost exactly like the 920 Nude Lust, just feels very comfortable on the lips. I think this is a perfect wintry nude if you want something a little bit darker, but it's not brown or red or anything. Last we have the Rimmel Kate Moss lipstick in the shade 14. Kate Moss is like throwing it back for me. This lipstick was one of the ones that I wore most often throughout college. I'm pretty sure that's when her collection launched was when I was in college. Love the formula of these lipsticks. Pretty much any of them, try them out. These ones also last pretty well throughout the day. It's more of a cream formula. They're not super matte, but they don't have a sheen to them. How much can you say about a nude lipstick? I'm finding out you can't say a whole lot. So those are all my top 15 picks for drugstore nude lips. If you guys liked this video and it was helpful for you, make sure you give it a thumbs up so I know. Just to quickly answer a couple questions I've been getting asked a lot on Snapchat and Twitter lately. Yes, I bought the Silly Sponge. Yes, I bought the new L'Oreal Total Cover Foundation. Both of those are coming as soon as I have them. I will be doing videos on both of those products. Foundation Friday is returning this week, 6 p.m. Pacific time. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.